Another inmate is executed at a federal prison in Terre Haute. Keith Dwayne Nelson died by lethal injection at 4.32 this afternoon. The victim's mother watched as her daughter's killer took his final breath. Dana Winkleplek was also there. She has more on the relief that the mother says she finally feels. Wearing a t-shirt with her daughter's picture, Sherry West says justice has finally been served for Pamela Butler. I feel at peace now. And I feel that Pammy's soul is at peace and she can rest. That was my number one goal. 45-year-old Keith Dwayne Nelson died by lethal injection at the federal prison in Terre Haute. When Nelson was asked if he wanted to make a final statement, he did not respond. He did not even shake his head. After a long pause, the execution process began. In October of 1999, Nelson kidnapped Butler. A neighbor heard commotion during the abduction and was able to get a license plate number. After an intense manhunt, Nelson found hiding in a wooded area and arrested. For almost 21 years, West worked toward this day for Pamela. I think she was always behind me and guiding me to keep fighting. And that's what I've done. Another daughter, Amanda, believes her mom is amazing. I admire my mom. She is my hero because I could not, I could not do what she did. I, I would not survive. And I don't know how she did it. Sherry West says that all the support she received over the years from family and community members helped. Now they're thinking about creating a foundation in Pamela's name. In Terre Haute with Local News That Matters, Dana Winkleplek, WTWO. Sherry West was asked if it bothered her that Nelson made no final statement. She said she did not expect one. That's because in the past, he cussed at her in court.